Hello there, and welcome to the World of Momus podcast. In this episode of Reflections and Reactions, I'll talk about why we should vote. I don't have any uh, video on in this episode, um, it's something is playing up with my camera, so I thought I'd just uh, record the audio anyways. So, I did uh, these two episodes on why you should vote for reform and why you shouldn't vote for reform. It's very interesting to see because I was just playing with both sides of the argument while I think and I've been saying this for a very long time that I'm actually not interested in voting for either of the two main political party stories or Labour as they are both uni party and I'm just tired of them I think so people need to vote for other parties parties that actually care for them and reform at the moment is the one uh, that seems to be breaking through whether we believe in the in their policies or not completely or whether we believe that there's something lacking in their policy whether we think that some of their policies are just being made up on the day uh, as a reaction um, it doesn't really matter what matter uh, is that they are breaking through and something is breaking through um, into this duopoly of Westminster and that is a good thing and that's why we should vote for reform however the, I made these two uh, videos just to show you the other side of the argument where people are saying that most of the candidates are paper candidates which I've said myself as well they might be local but they haven't done enough groundwork for their local people to know who they are so they, they won't be enough recognition they haven't done enough grassroots and what we'll end up doing is we'll end up um, splitting the vote on the right um, instead and some people might vote for uh, reform and most of the people will vote for Tory but what will happen is Labour will come through as everyone on the left mainly the majority on the left would be voting for Labour so we'll just split the vote and it's um, you know it's an argument put up by Hitchens and other people as well that you know having a Labour Party is going to be disastrous so let's stop Labour now by everyone voting for Tories and then we'll figure it out as I've said in the other video as well I wasn't convinced by this argument myself I think so we should all just vote for a uh, reform and we'll figure things out later then but I just didn't uh, a counter argument it was just uh, really disappointing to see some comments on my video of uh, why you shouldn't uh, vote for reform because it seems like people were commenting on the headlines of the title uh, rather than actually listening to the video because if they listen to the video they would uh, have heard me saying that it's an argument that I'm not convinced of myself anyways anyways let's forget about that people will be people you can't really uh, change some people can you but it's just sad to see uh, that these times these trouble times are just making a fool out of all of us uh, we really cannot be we become so emotional uh, with this because we've been cornered that you know just at the mere uh, sight of things we getting triggered like crazy but anyways what I wanted to talk about very briefly in this episode is why you should vote regardless why you should vote because some people are so despondent and had been before Faraj uh, took over as the leader of reform and which is why I had been calling for Faraj to take over he should have taken over in January but he was just delaying it so much but it's a, it, that was the reason because there wasn't any other way and the only other way that people could see was either Tory or Labour and they were just despondent and they were saying well we do not want to vote I understood that position at that time but here we have a real advantage um, to actually vote for something we believe in or approximate to what we might believe in and make a difference you know or at least have our voices heard maybe they don't get maybe they get two seats maybe that get five seats maybe they get ten seats who cares at least the number of votes that we vote from them from all over the country will show that there's an appetite for a, there's a there's a huge appetite for an alternative point of view and that's 
what we really want to get at. And you also have to consider this point, right? Regardless of whether you vote or not, you will not be spared by the consequences of what the rules and policies the ruling party, the governing party will put on you. You know, so when Labour comes in and they put on put all the horrible policies that restrict your life, that disrupt your life, you can't just say, no, no, I opt out because I said I wasn't playing, I didn't vote for it, so these rules don't apply to me. And it's not going to work like that. You will still have to bear the consequences. So if you want to live in a democratic society, if you want a liberal democracy, then exercise your right to vote. Even if who you're voting for doesn't win, but at least you're exercising your right because there's a chance that they might win or they, a, they, they get the support or they get the, the exposure so that they keep pushing on as well. And if you don't vote and you still want change, then maybe join the violent revolution because apart from doing that, while living in a democratic society but still moaning about not getting your way and still not exercising your right to vote, I don't know what else you want. It won't make any difference. It just means that you're moaning about it and you're not willing to take any action towards it. You just want to, you know, uh, you just are after some sort of wishful thinking. You just think other people will do for you what you want done. Now, it doesn't happen unless you get involved yourself. So very short video just to say, look, listen, no matter what happens, go out and vote. Vote for what you believe in. Vote for, you, you won't, you would never get everything in your life, right? The life, life is a, a series of trade-offs. So the best trade-off that we have right now is is a protest vote and right now the the best protest vote out there is a re, is reform party because they can actually make a make a difference right now if we vote for them in numbers they might get an opposition you know is is unlikely they will get in government uh, this time around but being in opposition they will stop a lot of horrendous policies that labor otherwise would be able to bring in unchallenged and look at what happened in the in the local elections recently as well because the turnout was so low what on average 30 percent or something and usually local democracy turnouts are very low and which is what really annoys me because you should be voting in your uh, local elections but because the turnouts were so low the labor candidates got in because you know what their side of the people are are active they actually go out and they vote because they have you know more motivation to ruin your life than you have motivation to protect your life you know because they are voting for something whether that for is right or wrong by our understanding it that doesn't matter the, the, they are voting for something because they have a vision and like I said their vision might be corrupt doesn't matter but they have a vision so they are more motivated and they go out and vote for it so they are more mobilized so this is what we want from our side as well and reform party is a way that we can have a vision at the moment right it's not the best vision and I think so even for people on the left political left SDP um, gives a better vision or people who are on in the center uh, which I am to some extent even for them SDP is a good vision they're not voting but they're not standing uh, people from every single seat so you know the best way to get a vision across a vision that is approximate to what we might want or a start a starting um, step to what we might want is reform that's a vision go and vote for that vision and let's see what happens and then we come back on the 5th of July 
and we start our cultural movement or what we want it to happen if reform is doing good then we support reform party or we keep pushing reform party to be what we want it to be or we we start supporting some other party it doesn't matter but for these elections it's important that you do go out and vote i would suggest go and vote reform we'll see what happens next anyways thank you for listening i'll catch you next time